What was once a quest for 200 miles per hour in a production car now sits at 300 and beyond, as automakers strive to add more power, smarter aerodynamics, and electric motors, all in the name of going faster. From Aston Martin and Bugatti to Zenvo and Koenigsegg, these are the 50 fastest cars ever built. Speaking of speed, there's only one way to get the latest car news, reviews, lists, and more as soon as they drop. Be sure to click that subscribe button and follow us on social media at Motor1.com. And be sure to check out our list of the 50 most expensive cars. You might recognize some of the cars there. Now, back to the list. Eagle-eyed viewers might remember the LaFerrari from our list of the 50 most expensive cars ever built, but it's also the most powerful production car Ferrari has ever produced. Powered by a 6.3 liter V12 engine with Ferrari's F1 Curse hybrid system equipped, the LaFerrari has 950 horsepower and can go from 0 to 60 in just under 2.5 seconds. Seven years before the Speed Tail, a car you'll see later on in this list, the McLaren P1 was topping out at 217 miles per hour. Powered by a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter hybrid V8, the P1 produces 903 horsepower and 664 pound feet of torque hitting 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. Mercedes is taking knowledge straight from its championship winning Formula 1 team and applying it to a road car. The AMG 1 features a turbocharged 1.6 liter 4 cylinder, 3 electric motors and 1063 horsepower with a projected top speed of 217 miles per hour and the ability to hit 60 in an estimated 2.6 seconds. That's hardly rapid compared to some of the other insanely quick cars on this list but there's little question that the $2.7 million Mercedes AMG is still one of the quickest cars on the planet. Lamborghini's first hybrid is also one of the fastest cars in the automaker's history. With 819 horsepower from its electrified B12 powertrain, the Sion can hit 62 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 217 miles per hour. The Avaya is the first true hypercar from Lotus and the brand's first all-electric vehicle packing nearly 2,000 horsepower courtesy of four electric motors. It takes the Avaya under three seconds to hit 62 and it tops out at 217 miles per hour. The quote unquote slowest Bugatti on this list may sound like a bit of an oxymoron, but the Chiron Pure Sport still tops out at 218 miles per hour. The Pure Sport is lighter with more aggressive aerodynamic bodywork than some of its siblings. It packs Bugatti's ubiquitous quad turbocharged W16 engine good for 1,479 horsepower. If you're naming a car after your company's founder, it better be a pretty epic effort. Fortunately for Ferrari, the Enzo goes down as one of Marinello's crowning achievements. A powerful 6 liter V12 gives the Enzo 650 horsepower and 485 pound feet of torque, propelling it to 60 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds. And even 20 years since the first Enzo rolled off the line, it's still one of the fastest cars to ever do it. The Pininfarina Batista is an all-electric monster that packs 1,900 horsepower and 1,741 pound-feet of torque via a four-motor setup similar to the Rimac Nevera. The two cars share a platform and are built in the same Croatian facility. The Batista's top speed is down on the Nevera at 218, but it's slightly quicker to 60 at 1.79 seconds versus 1.85 seconds for the Nevera. One of Aston Martin's most exclusive vehicles, the 177, was produced in extremely limited numbers between 2009 and 2012. The automaker built just 77 examples in that three-year period, each one with the same Cosworth-tuned 7.3 liter V12 engine capable of 750 horsepower. The 177 hit 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds with a top speed of 220. Lamborghini is synonymous with V12 engines, but that won't be the case for much longer. The new Aventador Ultime is the last hurrah for gas-only V12 performance as the Italian automaker heads for an electrified future. Power comes in at 769 horsepower, while there's 531 pound-feet of torque. Those are modest figures relative to some of the other vehicles on this list, but with a 2.8 second sprint to 60 and a 220 mile per hour top speed, the Aventador Ultime is a worthy send-off. The Pagani Cotalunga is one of the most powerful versions of the Huayra to date and in our humble opinion, also the prettiest. This car's twin turbocharged V12 engine gives it 840 horsepower and a whopping 811 pound-feet of torque, which helps it to a top speed of 220 miles per hour. De Tomaso is back in a big way. The company revealed its stunning P72 back in 2019 at the Goodwood Festival Speed and has since rolled out a few different variants, each sensational in their own right. 
Powered by a supercharged 5 liter Ford V8, the P72 packs 700 horsepower and will race to 60 miles per hour in just under 3 seconds before capping off at 221 miles per hour. No, this isn't the original Countach. This is the Aventador based Countach that Lamborghini produced in extremely limited numbers between 2021 and 2022. Powered by a hybrid 6.5 liter V12 engine, the new Countach produces 803 horsepower and will hit 60 in just 2.8 seconds on the way to a top speed of 221 miles per hour. It's the quickest and fastest Countach ever built. One of Lamborghini's most exclusive supercars is the Veneno. Just 13 examples were built between 2013 and 2014, 4 coupes and 9 roadsters, each with a 6.5 liter V12 engine borrowed from the Aventador good for 740 horsepower. The Veneno can hit 60 in just 2.9 seconds and has a top speed of 221 miles per hour. With a name like Gordon Murray's attached to it, you know it's gotta be fast. The dramatic looking T50, which has a naturally aspirated V12 engine tuned by Cosworth, produces 654 horsepower and 344 pound-feet of torque. That may not sound like much compared to some of the other cars on this list, but the T50 tips the scales at just 2,174 pounds, making it an extremely light hypercar by comparison. Pagani built the Zonda on and off for 10 years following its debut in 1999. At the 2007 Geneva Motor Show though, Pagani upped the ante with a Zonda R. Powered by a 6 liter V12 engine borrowed from Mercedes, the Zonda R produces 740 horsepower and can hit 60 in just 2.7 seconds. Flat out, this Zonda carries on to a top speed of 223 miles per hour. The long-lived Pagani Huayra BC Roadster is an unusual entry on this list. The power output is excessive, and yet this sleek mid-engine V12 powered supercar can still hit 236 miles per hour. With an asking price of 3.4 million, the 791 horsepower Huayra variant is the cream of the crop for the current Pagani range. A new Pachetto Tempesta package was introduced in 2021 that added 25 horsepower and 36 pound-feet of torque, but Pagani hasn't indicated how that improves 0 to 60 time or top speed. Like the Chiron Pure Sport, the Devo is another track-oriented Bugatti. It has a larger front grille for extra cooling, new aero elements between the wheels, and a massive rear wing for additional downforce all with a 1500 horsepower quad turbocharged engine and a top speed of 236 miles per hour. The success of the Zonda led to the faster and prettier Huayra in 2011. Powered by a twin turbocharged version of Mercedes 6 liter V12 engine, the base Huayra had 730 horsepower and a ridiculous top speed of 238 miles per hour when new. Naturally, more powerful variants have followed in the coming years. In honor of the automaker's 110th birthday, Bugatti rolled out the Cento Dieci, a limited variant of the Chiron. The Cento Dieci is 44 pounds lighter than the standard Chiron, but has the same quad turbocharged engine, good for 1,578 horsepower, and tops out at an impressive 240 miles per hour. The Deus Vian hypercar made its debut early last year with a claimed 2,200 horsepower and a limited production run planned for 2025. While Deus has yet to prove the merit of its new all-electric beast, the company claims this car can top out at 248 miles per hour. The McLaren F1 is one of the most iconic supercars of all time, and also one of the fastest. With a recorded top speed of 240.1 miles per hour, the F1 is powered by a 6.1 liter BMW V12 engine that produces 618 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. That may not sound like much by modern standards, but the F1's lightweight and excellent aerodynamics helped it achieve its record-breaking top speed. The CCR was introduced in 2004 with a twin supercharged 4.7 liter V8 producing 806 horsepower and 679 pound-feet of torque, which propelled it to 60 in just 3.2 seconds and onto a top speed of 241 miles per hour. 1700 horsepower, 2581 pound-feet of torque, three cylinders, and four seats. Add that all up and what do you get? The Koenigsegg Jamira, with a top speed of 249 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 time of 1.9 seconds. As we mentioned, the Jamira also has back seats, making this a brilliant way to scare the entire family. That insane performance is thanks to three electric motors, which work alongside the twin turbocharged 2 liter 3 cylinder engine. Prices start at $500,000, which actually isn't too crazy for Sweden's hottest performer. As Spark may not be the most instantly recognizable name on this list, but the Owl Hypercar is one of the fastest electric vehicles in the world. 
Debuting at the 2017 Frankfurt Motor Show, the Aspark Owl has four electric motors that give it a whopping 1,984 horsepower and 1,475 pound-feet of torque. The Owl takes just 1.7 seconds to hit 60, and it tops out at 249 miles per hour. The base Agera was already ridiculously quick out of the box, but the Agera are up the ante with a twin turbocharged 5 liter V8 engine good for 947 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque, which helps propel it to 62 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds and onto a top speed of 249 miles per hour. And spoiler alert, it's still not even the fastest Agera on this list. Aston Martin has never really played in the hypercar space, but the Valkyrie is a change of tack, the result of a partnership between Aston and its Formula One partner, Red Bull Racing. The Valkyrie features a naturally aspirated Cosworth Source V12 and a hybrid system to produce 1,160 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Unleashed on the right road, this mid-engine Aston will hit 60 in just 2.5 seconds, while the track-only AMR Pro carries a top speed of 250 miles per hour. Yes, we know, Elon Musk promised a new Tesla Roadster many, many years ago. But when it does eventually reach production, the CEO says that the Roadster will be one of the fastest cars on the planet, with an estimated 60 time of 1.9 seconds. That would make it one of the quickest cars on this list, too. Named after a giant wolf found in Norse mythology, the W Motors Fenner Supersport is just as ferocious as the name suggests. Packing a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter flat 6 engine created by Roof, the Fenner Supersport has 799 horsepower and 723 pound feet of torque. That type of power allows it to hit 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds and a top speed of 250 miles per hour. More than nearly any other brand on this list, McLaren knows a thing or two about building record breaking hypercars. The legendary F1 held the record for over two decades until the Bugatti Veyron arrived. The new McLaren Speedtail won't reclaim the F1's record, unfortunately, but the 1,036 horsepower $2 million hypercar is arguably the prettiest car on this list. And anyway, 250.4 miles per hour is pretty darn impressive, as is a 0 to 60 sprint of 2.9 seconds. Unlike the 300 plus mile per hour Jesco and Venom F5, we have little doubt of the Speedtail's relatively reasonable max velocity. Speaking of the Veyron, here it is, with 987 horsepower and 922 pound-feet of torque, courtesy of a quad-turbocharged W16 engine. The Veyron springs to 60 in just 2.5 seconds and has a record-breaking top speed of 253.8 miles per hour. That is, until it was broken. Well before the record-breaking Totara came onto the scene, SSC, formerly Shelby Supercars, had another speed record car in the Ultimate Aero. Powered by a supercharged 6.2 liter V8, the Ultimate Aero produced 911 horsepower and 711 pound-feet of torque, and in 2007, it broke the Guinness World Record for being the fastest production car with an average top speed of 257.4 miles per hour. If there was ever a question as to whether electrification is the future of performance, Rimats, now team with Bugatti, is on a mission to answer yes with cars like the Nevera. The sleek Croatian hypercar packs four electric motors with a total output of 1,914 horsepower and 1,740 pound-feet of torque. But while the 258 mile per hour top speed is deeply impressive, we're more bewildered by the 1.97 second 0 to 62 time and the world beating quarter mile time where it took just 8.74 seconds all while on cold tires. The stunning La Vatura Noir was created in honor of Bugatti's 110th anniversary, with dramatic new design cues over the standard Chiron and a ridiculous $13.4 million price tag, the 1500 Bug still races to an estimated top speed of 260 miles per hour. Another variant of the Chiron, the Mistral Roadster debuted in 2022 at the Quail in Pebble Beach, packing the familiar quad turbocharged W16 engine found throughout the Bugatti range. It's still good for 1,577 horsepower here, giving the Mistral a top-down top speed of 261 miles per hour. Zenvo introduced the new TSR GT only last year, but already the company has claimed a top speed of 263 miles per hour, with 1,379 horsepower from a twin supercharged 5.8 liter V8 engine. The TSR GT certainly has the specs to compete. In 2010, the Veyron 16.4 Supersport model added a few hundred extra horses to the standard Veyron, bringing the total output to 1,200 horsepower and 1,106 pound-feet of torque. 
The results of that extra oomph was a 0 to 60 time of 2.4 seconds and a then record breaking top speed of 267.9 miles per hour. The Venom GT was Hennessy's original speed king, with 1,244 horsepower from its twin turbocharged 7 liter V8 engine. The Venom GT achieved the top speed of 270.5 miles per hour back in 2014, beating Bugatti for the production speed car record. Not even the most aerodynamic or powerful version of the Chiron, the Supersport still will hit a ridiculous 273 miles per hour. Powered by the same quad turbocharged 8 liter W16 engine ubiquitous throughout the Bugatti range, the Supersport packs 1,577 horsepower. The Koenigsegg 1.1 was aptly named for its 1 to 1 power ratio in metric units, 1,360 PS to 1,360 kilograms. In the US, that translates to 1,341 horsepower and 2,998 pounds, which gives the 1.1 a 0 to 60 time of 2.5 seconds and an estimated top speed of 273 miles per hour. In 2017, Koenigsegg officially claimed the record for the fastest car in the world with the Agera RS. The company shut down an 11 mile stretch of highway in Nevada where its hypercar achieved an average top speed of 277.9 miles per hour. That record has since been beaten by Bugatti, but the 1,160 horsepower Agera is still one of the fastest cars to ever do it. It takes just 2.8 seconds for it to hit 60 miles per hour. The partially 3D printed Singer 21C hides a twin turbo 2.9 liter flat plane crank V8 under its hood good for 1,233 horsepower. Its relatively light curb weight of 2,734 pounds and all-wheel drive allows it to hit 62 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds. And the company claims a top speed of 281 miles per hour on the right stretch of road. Although Singer is a relative newcomer in the space, the company has already broken numerous lap records. Ah, the SSC Totara. After some uncertainty surrounding its first attempt, the American automaker made another run early in 2022 and set a blistering top speed of 295 miles per hour. That's quite a bit slower than its alleged 316 miles per hour average, but it was still more than quick enough for this supercar to momentarily claim the title of world's fastest production car. Even with the roof removed, Hennessy says its F5 Roadster will still be able to hit over 300 miles per hour in a straight line. The drop top boasts the same twin turbo 6.6 liter V8 as the coupe with 1,817 horsepower and 1,193 pound-feet of torque. Koenigsegg's second fastest car debuted last year in Pebble Beach with retro styling, a slick semi-manual gearbox, and some impressive performance to boot. With a twin turbocharged 5 liter V8 engine sourced from the Jesco and 1,385 horsepower, the CC850 should be able to exceed 300 miles per hour and can hit 60 in just about 2.7 seconds. The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus is technically the fastest car in the world with an achieved top speed of 304.8 miles per hour. Its quad turbocharged 8 liter W16 engine shocked us in the Veyron and Veyron Super Sport, but this monstrous motor is on an entirely different level in the new Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. With 1600 horsepower and 1180 pound feet of torque, the range topping Chiron hits 60 in just 2.3 seconds. The little known SP Automotive Chaos arrived on the scene late last year promising 3000 horsepower from a twin turbocharged 4 liter V10 engine with hybrid assist. While we've yet to see any of these cars on the road yet, the company says their new hypercar will be able to hit a top speed of 310 miles per hour. Pair that with a claimed 60 time of 1.8 seconds and an eye-watering $14.4 million price tag and the SP Automotive Chaos boasts some of the craziest stats of any car on this list. Those crazy folks in Texas at Hennessy Performance know a thing or two about speed. While the old Lotus Elise based Venom GT would run up to 270 miles per hour, Hennessy claims the Venom F5 will blast past 310 thanks to a twin turbocharged 6.6 liter V8 that produces 1,817 horsepower and 1,193 pound feet of torque. While the price is lower than some of its European rivals, starting at 1.8 million, Hennessy plans to only build 24 examples. The track-only Bugatti Bolide is one of their wildest creations ever, which is certainly saying something. 
Based on the Chiron platform, the Bolide takes that vehicle's quad turbocharged 8 liter W16 engine and feeds it a steady diet of 110 octane fuel, helping elevate that output to 1,825 horsepower and 1,365 pound feet of torque, increases of 247 horsepower and 185 pound feet over the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. Even with the track focused aerodynamics, the top speed exceeds the Chiron at 311 miles per hour. Although the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus is technically the world's fastest car, Koenigsegg says their Jesco Absolute is even faster, although the company has yet to put those claims to pavement. With 1600 horsepower and 1106 pound feet of torque from a twin turbocharged 5 liter V8 engine, and a slippery body that still offers significant downforce, the $2.8 million Swedish monster has the credentials for a high speed run. And that's it, the 50 fastest cars in the world. Which of these monsters would you like to hop behind the wheel of? Let us know in the comments and as always, thanks for watching.